challenge for all of you. And it's going to sound probably pretty daunting at first, but I really want to inspire all of you to delete your Facebooks. And how many of you raise your hand if you have Facebook? Okay, so not everybody. That's a good start. But in order to explain to you why you really need to take this step into a better future for yourself, I need to give you a little background on Facebook. So Facebook started in 2004 with a 19-year-old, Mark Zuckerberg, who was a Harvard sophomore, much like ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, ourselves in school right now. And the demographic at the time, in a 2005 survey, was from 18 to 25-year-olds, the undergraduate demographic. This seems okay, this is the demographic that Facebook was intended to be used by. But if we fast forward till now, the demographic has shifted to 13 to 17 year olds, which is the teenage demographic, which is a pretty scary thing to think about with regards to time management and looking towards our nation's future. If we're spending more time on Facebook than we are working on problems like global warming or economic crisis, we're not setting ourselves up for a better future. And another interesting statistic is that a third of Facebook users are from the United States, and that means that two thirds of all the users of Facebook are from other parts of the world. So Facebook is actually known as the web's greatest time sink, which means that people are spending more time on Facebook than they are on Yahoo, Google, YouTube, Wikipedia, you name it. And since time management is the precursor for our success, like I said, we need to really learn how to disconnect from this website, which is supposed to be connecting us to our friends and family, and reconnect to some greater issues, which I want to tell you about because I want us all to succeed, and I think this is our best bet for you know, improving our future. So let's stop and reflect now on where we want to be in a few years. And you know, what do you want to do when you graduate Manhattan College? You want to go to grad school? Anybody else have any good plans for when they graduate, what they want to be? Oh, what do I want to be? Yeah, still, what do you want to do? Yeah, but as soon as I graduate, I kind of just want to take a break for a little bit. You want to take a break? Yeah, definitely. Does anyone have any big career goals or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah, I want to be a physician assistant, so I have a plan. So do I. So these are all really great goals for us to have, but... What if you have a red party cup in your hand on Facebook? What if you have beer cans in your pictures? What if you have racial slurs written on your wall? What if you have inappropriate posts? What if your dress is a little bit too short in your pictures? How is that going to affect your future if your employer sees this on Facebook? Well, guess what? They can see it, and they are checking more and more. And CBS News did an interview with a corporate businessman. His name was Danello. And he was asked if he uses online profile scanning in order to view potential employees for his business. And he said, of course, everybody does. And actually, statistics show that 20% of all businesses are using online uh, profile scanning to see who they're going to bring in for an interview. And people come in dressed up like I am for an interview. And what they've already seen on Facebook is somebody wiling out at a bar, with the party cup, with inappropriate outfits. And this is obviously not setting you up for a very bright future. And this is a little scary because this is the norm for our generation. This is something that goes without saying. So now that we've talked about that first step into the future, what would be maybe the next step? Well, you might want to have kids someday. You do, Carla, right? So, this means that if Facebook is the norm, then that'll be the norm for them, and that means that's where they're going to be spending a lot of their time. And if you delete your Facebook now, you will have to, you'll completely sidestep this issue, and you will have already set the precedent. And this is definitely securing their future, which can be ridden, unfortunately, by harassment, online predators, and other things of that nature, which is a very scary future to be putting your child into. And there is actually a case that occurred close to me, 
and her name was uh, Alexis Pelkington. She was 17 year old, years old. She's from Long Island. She had a soccer scholarship. She was all set to go to college, and she received a lot of harassment on her Facebook and something known as Forum Spring, which I'm sure you've all heard of, or maybe you use yourself. And she ended up committing suicide because of all the online cyberbullying she was enduring. And after that happened, her family left her Facebook page up and her form string for friends and family to leave their sympathies. And people posted pictures of nooses. They posted pictures of people hanging themselves. And excuse me. And this is obviously an ongoing issue that is not going away, even after all these tragedies occur. People are still using Facebook and Formspring. So hopefully your child or your siblings, if you have them now, will never have to go through this or become a part of the harassment, like two girls in Florida who created a fake Facebook page to harass a girl and got arrested. So these people are taking their time that they could be using to maybe work on some bigger issues that our generation is going to be facing, and they're spending it inappropriately. And if you spend your time inappropriately and you advertise it to your future employers, you might not be getting that job that you're, you've been working so hard for here. So it's important that we delete our Facebooks so we can look back at our 20s and realize that we made a difference and that we took this challenging step, but important step in the right direction for ourselves and for our country.